So I shouldn't, let me just tilt that back so I can see myself much better. Uh, it's been a while. It's been, I would say close to a month now. Hi Munch. Come see hi, come see hi. Mm. He just loves sitting by me, like by my side when I'm here. Oh, it's so warm. Right, it's been about a month, I think. Uh, so I think I already told you about the jobs. Basically, I had three jobs, now I have none because the contracts pretty much all ended at the same time, like two weeks apart. So I'm at home right now, I have a little more time, but it's been, it's been, I don't know, this month has been a bit different for me. I've been trying to get out of my comfort zone a bit more, uh, which I've done, but you know, sometimes I'll be a bit vulnerable. So I'm trying <laughs> to find some balance. Oh my god, munch. Uh, but it's been fine, it's just, can you stop eating my freaking cover thingy, please? Oh, they're doing it again. <laughs> he has tassels and just keep, uh, hey, no, no, but yeah, uh, I've been trying to find balance and I've just been so lethargic with the heat because we're, I'm in the Algarve and it's quite hot. It's been around 40 degrees most days and I just, don't have the energy for anything. It's been crazy. Uh, I've done another illustration and I'm gonna pull this up so I can see what I'm showing you. It's Boba Fett. I haven't finished it yet, but it says if it would focus, I believe everything dies, right? Which is kind of ironic in a way, but there you go. That's the only thing I've created, I suppose. I've been reading as well. I've picked up um, Lovecraft's The Complete Fiction. I've been reading that. I found my glasses. I didn't know where I'd put them. They were on the shelf, but you know, I found them. I've been reading some. I've been talking to some people. I'm hoping to be able to travel in the near-ish future. That would be nice. I want to go up north. I've been wanting to go to port for a long time. So I think I might do that as soon as I have the chance. I want to go to Iceland so bad. Like you have no idea how badly I want to go there. So hopefully, maybe, I think next spring, depending on how everything goes, obviously, because it's it'll obviously, it will be costly to go there. So I'm just allowing myself to dream of uh, possibilities but yeah it's been it's been all right you know just lots happen i got a text i i did notify everyone i was going to be uh yeah it was just it was about it actually uh you're being mean to me Wrong word. Oh, you did actually write books. Hmm. But yeah, I was, I was telling Sergi that I was organizing my shelves and he said boobs and I'm like, no, not boobs. I don't have a shelf full of boobs. I have a shelf full of books. And apparently he did actually write books. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm filming. You are going to be on it. There. Uh, but yeah, so what happened this week? Portugal won the Euro Cup and I knew it. I, I, I was telling my friends, I was saying, I remember talking to a friend, Josh, I've mentioned him before, and I was like, we trazemos o caneco para casa este ano, é que trazemos o mesmo, sem dúvida. And we did. We won. I know half the world is pretty bitter about it. Some are pretty salty about it. I'm pretty fucking happy. We won. It was about time that we did. It was fair. I know everyone's like, ah, you didn't play pretty football. Like, I don't care if you didn't play. Pretty football. We did what we had to do. 
we play defensively because that's our strong point and our defense was much better than France's offense obviously that's why they didn't get to score and we somehow managed to amazing goal I don't care what everyone says we made it through we didn't lose a single match and everyone's like pretty fucking bitter about it and I don't get it it was fair no we didn't win any matches during our group stage but we didn't lose any either and that's the freaking point you win by not losing so I don't get why so many people are bitter about it it was fair we didn't lose any matches we got through the stages you know at the end of the day you have to look at it strategically more so than just putting on a show and I'm really pretty happy with how we did. I had, I, I just had a feeling this year. I don't know what it was. Like since actually, since we lost our match with uh, England, this was like the friendlies before the Euro started. We lost the match, and I'm like, hey, I think we're going to do well. Don't ask me why. It was just it was a brand new team, younger players, and they didn't do badly for like you know they were just starting to play together they didn't like England scored I think at minute 88 so I think we did pretty well pretty well and I think that's why I somehow believe that we could even though that makes no sense so you know like well we lost the match so therefore we're gonna win the hero you know but I just had really good fucking cats I swear to god Stop knocking everything over! Butter! Hey! Oh my god, they're tiny, so they're like just impossible. Hey! Enough! But yeah, we won. We're Euro champions. I'm happy about it. My hair is gonna actually. <laughs> No, I want to read something from here. Is that focus? This is Mensageling by Fernand Sola. And I want to read something. Because this is all I could think of when we won. And I didn't cry. I didn't cry. I had tears in my eyes, definitely. But I didn't cry. It was just so, like... Those last 10 minutes, right, of the match were the longest 10 minutes of my life. And when I was like, ah, oh, relief. It was just relief. I don't even know. I was happy, I'm still happy, but yeah, I want to read Nevoir. Eh, oh, I'm sorry about the noise. Nem rei, nem lei, nem paz, nem guerra. Define como perfil e ser. Este fulgor baço de terra, que é Portugal a entristecer. Brilho sem luz e sem arder, como que o fogo fato encerra. Ninguém sabe que coisa quer. Ninguém conhece que alma tem, nem o que é mal, nem o que é bem. Quem se distante perto chora. Tudo é incerto e derradeiro, tudo é disperso, nada é inteiro. Ó oh, Portugal, és nevoeiro. É hora. E foi hora e Portugal fez-se. Portanto, there. And I think, you know, we, and just to go along with like football and all that, the last decade has been quite, I'm right on top of you, the last decade has been quite tough for the Portuguese, it really has, financially especially, it's been a huge burden on the society and people are struggling, I've never seen people struggle as much as I do now, granted that I'm only 26 years old, so I know there's been worse times but in my life, throughout my life, this is like, and it's finally getting better, slowly getting better, but I've never seen people struggle as much as they did the past four or so years and you know football is huge here huge and I'm talking about like uh, let's say culturally you know it is huge people just they get into it and they vibrate with it and you know this was and I want to get to that in a minute but this was huge for us it meant a lot people are happy it's something to just you know get their minds out of everything else that's been going on and I think more so for the Portuguese communities abroad because prejudice is very much present in today's society I know people 
migrated, you know, people that left. And I saw a comment, my mom saw a comment, she's quite upset by it. And I'm just like, eh, it reflects on him, not on us. But someone, I think it was a French DJ, musician dude, whoever, I don't know his name, I don't care. But he said something along the line, so they should just go back to building houses. Because we do have a lot of construction workers and quite a few of them, because construction pretty much stopped here with the crisis. They migrated, a lot of them went to France because there was work there and they just the construction, they built, they're builders. And he said that in a demeaning manner, right? Which I just, I find that, it's not even that it's offensive, it's quite retrograde, it's a retrograde way of thinking and it's just, it shows a lot about who he is as a person, his character is a reflection of his person, not us as, you know, our people. But I found that, like, this person, this man, don't know his name, you can look it up if you want to, I don't think, I, I won't bother with that, but I don't think he had a work, like, a hard day's work in his life. I think these people might have just built the roof over his head, not that he appreciates that, and not that being a construction worker is demeaning. Like, there's no less honor in what construction is construction. There's no less honor in what construction workers do than what he does. It's a job, it's a difficult one, it's hard, it's going to just tear you down. It's very, very, I mean, it wears you out. And they're not appreciated, they're, there's prejudice against them, there's prejudice against us. And it was, it was xenophobic, it was xenophobic comment. And I have an issue with targeting groups. Whatever, whatever they may be, you know, xenophobia, sexism, racism, it's wrong and it's about time we change the way we think and the way we perceive the world and this guy, like, get your shit together, like, get it straight because this is not okay. You don't have the right to attempt to degrade an entire country just because you're a sore loser. We want fair and square and... Don't bash hardworking people for trying to make a living. Like the, I, I've lived abroad before, I've lived abroad in the past, and I know how hard it can be. This man probably never had to struggle a day in his life. I know how hard it is to live home. It's your country, it's your home, it's your family, it's your friends, and everything you've ever known. And go into the unknown. It is hard, you're going to struggle. You know what I miss the most? my language. I was, I, I was never, no one was ever mean or judgmental or judging of me while I was abroad, but I know lots of people suffer from it, from discrimination, and I think our victory, even though like we are thrilled as a country that we won, everyone was happy, everyone was celebrating, but I think this means a lot more for the communities abroad, especially in France, because they are discriminated against. I think this meant a lot more to them, even more so than it did to us. So it is for them. And I hope he makes their life a little bit more bearable when it comes to discrimination they suffer. And I think that's all I have to say in the matter. I'm really happy that we won. I hope they're not discriminated against. I hope they're not discriminated against. That's it, full stop. But at least not as much because it's going to happen. Europe is going through really, it's like the Dark Ages part two. I, I don't like what is happening all over Europe right now. Really don't, it makes me really uncomfortable. It makes me really ashamed because this is not what we're supposed to stand for. And it's just, it's been crazy. This last few years with crisis and refugees and everything, like how can we, we're talking about people. I don't care where you're born geographically, we are talking about people and we're being absolute cunts to one another. And that is shameful. Mom, I'm on the telly. Yes, you are. Look at you. Can you see that? <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's been crazy. The way we've been behaving and the way we've been mistreating other human beings. It's, just, it's not okay. I'm going to kill the cat. Butter! I'm going to get your balls taken. If only you knew. 
But it's going to be a very rambly blog. Oh my god, 15 minutes. I get really distracted with this, like, what have I, oh, I had I hadn't, like, a plan on what I was going to talk about, but I think that's going to be it. It's a random vlog. I might take you out. I want to go to Saks. I haven't been to Saks in a while, and I know how to get there, but then again, it's like a long journey. But it's lovely. I don't know. I'll think about it. This is random. I've been organizing my shelves again. Um, my cat, did I tell you my cat was sick? I probably didn't. She had like a week where she barely ate and drank. And she's finally better. She's been going around the house. She's been chilling with the cat. A lot, lot better. I was uh, feeding her with a syringe for a while because she wasn't eating at all. And I think it was just her joints. I think it was joint pain because she could barely walk. But she's much better now. She's running around and hopping around. And so that's a bit of a relief now. We have to take little Munch here and get his balls dealt with. Or eight, well, he has one out, the other one is just missing. So you're gonna have to go on a quest for Testy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been all right. I wanna just do more and have more fun and get out of my comfort zone. Cause I, I have, I generally have a good time whenever I do, even if it doesn't always work out the way I hope it should turn out the way. I hope it is fun. It's. I just, I need to live life a bit better. And I'm right on top of you. Oh, look, my tattoo. That's the one I have to finish. Because that bit there, it hurts so badly that it's been six years and I haven't gone back. So eventually I'll get it done. But yeah, guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to go and edit this. And I'll see you next time. I'm going to try and upload more frequently. We have the Medieval Fair coming up soonish. So that should be fun. I might even be working there. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I hope you are well. And, uh, and, and I hope to see you soon. All right. Take care. Bye. Mm, why am I yellow? I'm not going to work. I'm yellow. I shouldn't be yellow.